This is going to be a tutorial going over Under Elevator 3, the most advanced route for Out of Bounds Chambers 11 through 18. It should be noted that this route is very difficult and only saves about 6 to 8 seconds, so it should only be learned if you need those 8 seconds of time save. Also, there are multiple variations that people do in some chambers, all similar speeds to each other, so there are timestamps in the description for each chamber and the different methods in each chamber. Another quick thing to note is that in maps with Under Elevator 3, it's important to get safe glitch on a specific portal color depending on which one you want to do PQRs with. If you want orange to be your PQR color, then get safe glitch on blue, and get safe glitch on orange if you want to do PQRs with blue. If you don't do this, you might fall out of bounds trying to do Under Elevator 3 in some maps. I will show methods throughout the tutorial to switch the color if necessary. The first thing we'll go over is getting safe glitch. There are two common ways to get safe glitch, vertical wall warp and falling safe glitch. They both achieve the same thing, so whichever one you choose is preference. Falling safe glitch can be used to set up for under elevator 2 or under elevator 3. The way that getting falling safe glitch works is that you need to save load as you are falling next to an out of bounds portal. My preferred method is by crouching inside the portal, walking left, then once I start falling, I save load. Another method that many people prefer is jumping when they're doing falling safe glitch. To do this, crouch inside the portal, start walking left, then jump out of the portal and save load. An easier method to time the save load is to do it early, and then do a couple of well-timed save loads, similar to BSG or Vault Skip. Once you finish save loading, uncrouch and use A and D keys to align yourself so you land in the fizzler. It's also a good idea to save before falling safe glitch, as it can be very difficult to fix if you miss it first try. While well, crouch inside the portal, jump, then make a save at the peak of your jump. Another version of falling safe glitch can be used to set up for chambers that use under elevator 3. The save load timing to get safe glitch is the same, but you need to look down and shoot a portal, the same color that you are getting save glitch on, right before save loading. The goal is to save load before the portal lands to get save glitch, but have it land right after so that we have collision with this part of the elevator shaft. For vertical wall warp save glitch, you should probably already know how to do this from other routes such as EO2 save glitch. In case you don't, you want to place a portal at the top of an out of bounds wall. Crouch and try to align yourself very close to the portal so that if you walk slightly more towards it, you'll pass through it. As you can see, you're barely able to see the outline of the portal you're trying to get save glitch on. While staying crouched, jump and immediately save load to do a vertical wall warp. In order to get save glitch, you need to do a second save load at a precise time after the first. In version 3420, the second save load is very precise, so many people prefer to add a third one, which makes it more consistent. Right when you see the timer start to move after the first save load, do a second save load. Then once the timer starts moving again, do a third. If done correctly, you will be standing on top of the portal. Look straight down and shoot the save glitch portal, then strafe over to where you need to be for under elevator 3. If you're struggling with the vertical wall warp timing, something to keep in mind is that you might hear a noise or see the game move in between some of the save loads. If you don't, then try slowing down the timing. In general, doing the save loads too slow is better than doing them too fast. Another mechanic that's necessary for under elevator are floor stands. These are required when you want to go from a floor portal to a wall portal that doesn't have a ground underneath. The most popular way to do this is by doing a QCE, and then crouching right away and tapping back. Once getting used to the timing, this method is very consistent. Another method of doing this is by looking straight down while standing up. Shoot a portal, crouch, then hold back for a certain amount of time. The amount of time you need to hold back for it requires practice to get used to, however this method is also very consistent with practice. For 11-12, after doing 10 super warp or vertical wall warp to skip the elevator, Ideally, you don't want to be stuck in the wall so that you have free movement. Shoot a portal here, then jump out to peek a portal on this surface as far to the right as possible. This will minimize the travel time of the next portal shot. If you got stuck in the wall, then don't worry about shooting the portal all the way to the right, just do the peek somewhere on the surface. Next, peek a portal under the elevator towards the left side so that it will be close to the back of the elevator. Do a peek you are, and start scrolling as you shoot the portal to activate the elevator as soon as possible. Once you activate the elevator, you need to go fast to set up for 13 before the level transitions. Shoot a portal here, grab the portal gun, then shoot the top right of this wall. Go through it and do a quick quantum crouch. To shoot this portal, just look slightly to the left and up and shoot. 
This portal shot doesn't always light up, but as long as the previous portal was close to the top right corner, it'll land. Peek a portal to the top of the chamber 12 elevator. For 13, the route can vary here depending on if you want to do under elevator 2 or under elevator 3. People tend to prefer under elevator 2 because it's more consistent and easier to do faster, but it can also be harder to learn at first. For under elevator 2, do a falling save glitch and land in the fizzler. After the portals fizzle, shoot your save glitch portal on this wall. Alternatively, you can also save load once you hit the fizzler, but this might also make it harder to finish on time. Shoot both portals here, as close to you as possible. Align yourself just to the right of the step, but not too far or else the level won't change. Towards the end of the load, make a save and start holding right. When you get about halfway through this wall, stop holding right and jump. Next, look 45 degrees to the left, crouch, shoot a portal, and tap forward and left. If timed correctly, you will land on the portal crouched. Staying crouched, shoot a portal under the end elevator. Aim left or right at the center because it doesn't always light up if you aim directly at the center. Shoot the opposite portal color, then uncrouch and look up and to the left. After about half a second, start walking left and shoot the portal that you just shot to do a PQR. If you find this happening, try waiting longer before doing the PQR. After activating the elevator, do a floor stand, do a portal stand here to the top of the surface, and then do into the end elevator. Do either a vertical wall warp save glitch or flying save glitch to set up for a 14 under elevator 3. If you need to switch the portal color for under elevator 3, do this shot as a portal peak instead of a portal stand. The other route for 13 is under elevator 3, which is easier to learn and has potential to be faster, however it's very difficult for it to be faster. It is about the same speed on average. After getting to the top of the chamber 12 end elevator, do a falling save glitch with a portal shot to set up for under elevator 3. Note that vertical wall warp save glitch is not possible. Shoot both portals here, then stand on this edge, a bit farther back from the middle. Once the level transition happens, crouch and move left to shoot under the end elevator. Note that in order to shoot the shot, you need to be to the left of this wall. Stand up and walk back into the right to be able to shoot a portal on the back of the elevator. Do a PQR. After activating the elevator, shoot your PQR color portal and do a QCE. Shoot the same color on this surface towards the top, then do a portal stand to the top of the elevator. Either do a vertical wall warp save glitch or falling save glitch to set up for 14 under elevator 3. Under elevator 3 is the best route for 14 as under elevator 2 is about half a second slower. After shooting both save glitch portals under the elevator, stand in this corner. When 14 loads, tap left. Shoot the PQR color under the elevator towards the back. Shoot the other portal here, and then do a PQR. After activating the elevator, do a QCE, shoot the same color on this wall, then do a portal stand to the top of the elevator. Next, do a vertical wall warp save glitch or falling save glitch to set up for 15 under elevator 3. While waiting at 14, there are two areas where you could choose from to stand. You could stand to the side, and then walk forward to shoot the shot in 15. You can stand behind the elevator, then walk left to shoot the shot under the elevator. With either spot, aim in this general area above this room. After shooting the shot in 15, there is about a second before you can do the PQR. A good method to time the PQR is by shooting a portal that doesn't land, taking advantage of portal shooting exactly 0.5 seconds apart when you hold down the mouse buttons. With this method, as soon as you shoot the first shot, start holding down the opposite mouse button. Make sure that the shot either goes into the void or lands inside the wall so that it doesn't actually get placed. Still holding the mouse button, shoot the portal again on the back of the elevator and do a PQR. After activating the elevator, do a QCE. Jump out slightly and shoot the same color on this surface on this office room. Peek a portal onto this wall, avoiding the fizzler so that your portals don't fizzle. Do a portal stand to the top of the elevator. Do a vertical wall warp save glitch or falling save glitch with a portal shot to set up for 16 under elevator 3, then stand in this corner and look in this general area. Tap left once the level loads to see the shot under the elevator. Walk right and tap back to be behind the elevator shaft. As soon as you stop moving, shoot the other portal and tap crouch. To do the PQR, it's similar to the other chambers, but you need to place it more towards the right. 
After activating the elevator, do a floor stand, then do a portal stand onto this surface. Do another portal stand to the top of the elevator. Do either a falling save glitch or vertical wall warp save glitch to set up for a 17 under elevator 3, and look just to the left of this blue line. Something that's worth mentioning for more advanced players is that because 16 has a lot of extra time after setting up the save glitch, there's an easy backup for if you miss falling save glitch in 3420. After landing here, jump over your other portal, shoot the top of the elevator, then shoot your other portal here, and try again. Usually this method can be done once if you need to retry it. For 17 under elevator 3, tap left once the level loads. Aim towards the back of the end elevator to ensure that you will activate the elevator immediately once jumping. Walk back into the right, then shoot the other portal. Do a PQR. After activating the elevator, do a QCE. Walk to the right, being careful not to fall off of the ledge. Jump out slightly to place the same color portal in this office room. Do a portal stand to the top of the elevator. Do a vertical wall warp save glitch or falling save glitch. After placing the portals under the elevator, stand on this edge, not as far back as the other chambers. For 18 under elevator 3, walk left as soon as the map loads. You need to walk further left than other chambers for the shot to exist. Shoot the portal as far to the right as the end room as possible. There is a wall right here that you need to make sure to avoid. You also need to make sure it doesn't land on this wall, and it instead lands underneath the floor. After shooting the portal, walk back into the right. A method of timing the PQR is to hold down the mouse button, which shoots portals exactly half a second apart. To do this method, as soon as you shoot the first portal, start holding down the opposite mouse button. Make sure you shoot the next portal while you're either inside the wall or it goes into the void so that it doesn't actually get placed. Still holding the mouse button, shoot the next portal here and do a PQR. Hold forward the entire time during this PQR, then immediately after getting teleported, look to the right and jump into the dialogue trigger. Now for some general troubleshooting and tips. When shooting the save glitch portals under the elevator, especially in under elevator 2 maps, it could be a good idea to place the save glitch portal first just in case the level transitions before you could shoot the second portal. If this happens, it only loses about a second instead of having to go back and replace the portals. Every time you launch the game, make sure to load all the maps in the under elevator sequence. This makes the load times much more consistent when you get to these maps in a real run. Also, don't rush after activating elevators, other than 11-12. In all the other chambers, there's a lot of time to set up for the next map, so taking your time to do the floor stand, QCE, portal peaks, and portal stands can prevent small mistakes that lose many seconds. When doing PQRs and under elevator 3 maps, start scrolling as you press the button to shoot the portal. This will allow you to jump as early as possible once you get teleported under the elevator. If you struggle with the Under Elevator 3 PQR timings, try shooting the PQR slightly earlier. The timing might be earlier than you expect. Anyway, this covers all you need to know to get started with Under Elevator 3. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me or join the Portal Discord to ask questions there.